So in all of chapter eight, we're studying the concept of hypothesis testing. And so first thing we need to do is just focus on a bunch of basic preliminary information so we're ready to solve hypothesis um, tests when we get to them. So the first thing is, what is a hypothesis test? Well, it always starts with some sort of pre-existing fact about the population. So like I said, a population standard. And we use the example here that a can of Coke is known to have 12 fluid ounces. So then somebody usually challenges, maybe sometimes they support, but whatever this fact is. And so here, for example, Jane claims that there is more than 12 fluid ounces per can of Coke. So what she'll do is she goes out and she samples 36 cans of Coke and she finds the average to be 12.19 fluid ounces. Notice it's X bar because that's her sample data. Now we knew her sample data would not match the population data because sampling error, your sample usually doesn't match it. But now the key is we determine that if the sample value she got, the 12.19, is it possible when the population value of 12 ounces is true? So if there really is 12 fluid ounces in a can of Coke, would 36 cans give you a sample of 12.19? Would that be reasonable? And so when we determine whether it's reasonable or not, then we're either going to reject or we will not reject Jane's claim about the population parameter being more than 12 ounces of can of Coke, and then we'll summarize our findings.